at Triumph's Kingdom University, you will find a place where the Word of God and the Holy Spirit come together to transform lives, birth ministries, and equip individuals to fulfill their God-given call in the spirit of excellence and triumphing in every aspect of life. Triumph's Kingdom University is an interdenominational international university. Triumph's Kingdom University offers several programs designed to train men and women, young and old, to carry out God's will on earth. Triumph's Kingdom University offers courses 100% online and in satellite centers. At Triumph's Kingdom University, you can earn certificates, diplomas, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in theology, Christian ministry, divinity, Christian counseling, chaplaincy, Christian life coaching, biblical studies, Christian leadership, global missions, Christian media communications, ministerial ordination, and license. Also, leadership conference and awards of honorary doctoral degrees. Admissions are now open, so enroll today. For more information, contact 864-518-6191, 864-205-5093, or 864-805-0259. You can also visit www.triumphskingdomuniversity.com. Be sure to tune in to 1180 WFGN on Wednesdays from 1 p.m. to 1.15 p.m. for a spirit-filled message from Triumph's Kingdom University President, Dr. Abraham Peters. Triumph's Kingdom University is a proud supporter of 1180 WFGN. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast today. I am Dr. Abraham Peters of Triumph's Kingdom University, and we bless God bringing us on this uh, Hope Radio, the spiritual friend, and thanking God for the end of the year 2022 as we go into the 2023, and thank God for a merry, merry Christmas and a happy, happy, prosperous New Year, prosperous New Year. Glory to God. Today, I want to challenge you with a psalm of praise, a psalm of prayer. The Psalms of Thanksgiving, Psalms of Declaration of Faith, Psalm 27. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to read a couple of verses, and I want you to read the whole chapter. When you find a moment, it's just a short chapter, 14 verses. But I'll begin reading Psalms chapter 27 and verse number 10 to 14, the hand of it. It said, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Don't lose that. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm chapter 27. I want to urge you to read a whole chapter. I, I, I ain't got much time on the broadcast. I would have done that. But I'll be talking briefly on finding hope when all seems hopeless. Finding hope when all seems hopeless. First of all, I want you to know and understand that with God, there is no hopeless situation. With God, there is nothing that is impossible. There is nothing that he cannot fix. There is no hopelessness with God. The doctors who have given you a bad report or whatever financial situation or whatever crisis you find yourself and chaos and confusion, no matter what the circumstance is that seems hopeless, when it comes to God, when you bring it to God, I tell you that you can fix it. He can make it anew again. There is no hopeless situation with God. The only problem is many times people give up hope on God. Don't you give up hope on God. Here he began to talk about where my father and mother forsake me. Uh, he said, can a mother forsake this, the, the child of a suckling? He said, yeah, they might forget it, 
But God wouldn't forsake you. God wouldn't forget you. It don't matter your father, mother forget you. It don't matter who rejected you. It don't matter what is the situation and the chaos in the family. But the love of God is eternal father. The love of God, he won't forsake you. No matter what, no matter how, God's love, God's... Uh, and you, the number one thing, you got to forgive your father, mother, whoever it is that forsake you, your uncle, brothers, siblings, whatever this crisis you find yourself, you got to forgive so that God can accept you because unforgiveness will hinder you from him. Finding hope when all seems hopeless. You got to leave the heart behind. 2020, 2022 is going. Let it go with all the pain. Let it go with all the heartache. Let it go with all the, all the struggles. Let it go with every, every challenges. Let it go. Roll it away. Nobody visited you at Christmas. Nobody gave you a Christmas gift. Nobody gave you a, a call. Nobody, nobody came to see you. No matter what the trouble is. No matter what the, 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 the loneliness and the, and the despair and, the, and, and, and disappointment. And, and they said it was going to do something. And they said it was going to do this and that and that and that. And they never did that and all that let it go let it go let it go don't don't carry the burden don't carry the pain don't carry the bitterness don't carry the, the anger into the new year of 2023 if you if you keep on harboring all those negative negative emotions and negative pains and pain and unforgiveness and uh, and heart and all that if you keep harboring all that uh, you keep getting you you ain't gonna get no new year you're gonna be in the 2023 and still repeat the 2020 2021 2022 you stick over repeat in 2011 and all the all the pains and all the all the struggle let it go let it go and roll it off i bring it on to the lord he said he said come unto me all ye who labor and i have ever laden uh, come take my yoke it's easy come take off his yoke come lay your body down before him that is hope in god come find hope in him come find peace in him come find a, a, a refreshing in him come find a healing in him Come find a renewal in Him. Come find a new beginning in Him. So you can enjoy the 2023. So you can enjoy a new life. So you can enjoy a new beginning. So the heart and the pain and the dangers will be gone. So it don't matter what the rejection you've had. He said, when, 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 when whoever forsaken me, he said, the Lord will take care of me. God will take care of you. God will help you. God will send help to you. He said, teach me. So you got to be ready for a teaching time. There are things that you, you, you have learned that you have to unlearn. There are things you need to learn. There are things you need to know. There are ways you need to prepare yourself uh, in your business, in your career, in your life, in the personal management, personal development. There are things you need to do to be better. To be better, make yourself a better person. I challenge yourself to, to have better friends and, and, and join a book club and enroll in that program and, and, and do something that will help you be a better person. Teach me, teach me that I may follow the way of the Lord and follow the path of God. Don't be the enemy of yourself. Don't be the one that is hindering you from, from advancing. You have a lot, a lot of other enemies, external forces that are already trying to compete with uh, destroying you. Don't, don't, don't be an inner enemy of yourself uh, and be the one that is against yourself. Speak the word of blessing to bless yourself. Stop cursing yourself. Stop thinking negative. Let there be a renewal of your mind. That is how you find hope in God. By the renewing of your mind, Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2, by the transformation of your mind, Mind uh, uh, by, by, by dwelling in the word of the Lord, Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. It says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. Hearing the word of the Lord. Stop listening to negativity. Stop listening to the voice of the enemy. Stop listening to the naysayers and come to the point that you believe the word of God that is spoken to you. Luke chapter 1, verse 45, the, the angel told Mary, He said, Blessed are you because you believe. He said, there will be performance of the things that have been spoken to you. The word of the Lord will only find performance, will find fulfillment in your life. The promises of God, the prophecies and the blessings and the goodness and the good things that God has for you. The, the hopeful thing, the joyful thing, the blessing thing. If you believe him, if you believe it, if you, if you confess the word, if you declare the word, if you let that word, you speak that word in the face of the challenges, in the face of that, of that trouble. Uh, he said, deliver me from the will of my adversary. God is the only one that can deliver you from every false witnesses. False witnesses, the ones who lie against you, the ones who conspire against you, the ones who, who, who just make up stories and fabricate and they hate you. But God loves you. 
It don't matter who hates you. It don't matter who raise a false accusation and false allegation and false uh, uh, narratives against you and twist the story around to the uh, and just do every damn evil words against you. Everything God is the one every, that will give you victory over every violence. That can give you peace over every challenge. That can give you peace uh, uh, and the goodness of God. The goodness of God. You don't lose that. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the year 2023. You will see the goodness of the Lord if you wait and be of good courage and be determined to serve God more and be determined to pray now, be determined to study the word, be determined to stick to the, the, the plan of the purpose of God for your life and, and, and get in, in, into, a, into a new fellowship, into a new communion, into a new covenant with God and say, Lord, help me. I've tried to do it on my own and uh, I, I can't just make it. You can't make it by yourself. But you're going to, uh, against all hope, you can't make it. You need the hope of God. You need the help of God. He said, the Lord, my life, my salvation. The salvation comes from nothing else but from God. The help comes from nothing, from no one else but from God. The strength of your life is the one that can help you. People are going to make promises. They're going to fail. People are going to make uh, uh, things up and say things they can't do and, and you just got to not to hold it against them but come to God and know that they're human even in their own best of abilities. But God is the only one that gives you all the capability that never fail. Finding help. Finding hope. When all seems hopeless. When everything fell through. God will never fail. It will always come through for you. God will never fail. It will always make a way where there seems to be no way. Blessed is he that believes. But there shall be performance of all that is being told about. The Bible tells us about the story of that woman, Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5 from verse 25 to 34. That woman, she, she spent 12 long years trying to get well from a hemorrhage and the issues of blood. And I tell you, everybody got some of kind of issues going on. But God is the one that can heal you. Bible says she's went everywhere. She's gone everywhere to look for help, to look for help. And it was always hopeless situation. She, a situation was not getting any better. It was getting worse and all the money she got every, and all the physicians, they couldn't help her. And then she heard about Jesus. She heard about Jesus, just like I'm bringing a word of hope to you today on this whole broadcast too. Uh, the hope station. That Jesus can fix it. And she heard about him and said, If I can but touch the hem of his garment, if I can but to go through the crowd, there were a whole lot of people. And he said, uh, uh, Peter said, uh, when, when she touched him, he said, Who touched me? Who touched me? The disciples said, Listen, Master, all of, everybody thronging around you. Don't be among the everybody thronging. Be with a definite encounter. Be with a definite touch to, to have uh, uh, the hem. She made in a faith, in a heart, she already concluded. If I can but touch the hem of his garment, all these doctors wouldn't help me. They took all my money and she go worse and get in a, in a bad situation. But she said, no. She pressed through the crowd. No matter how bad that circumstance is, press through the crowd. Get out of that crowd. Get out of that uh, limitation. Get out of that uh, negative voices. Get out of that uh, 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 voice, of, voice of hopelessness and telling you you're not going to make it. Press on to Jesus. And he said, uh, I know that if I touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. I will be made whole. Yes, 2023, God will turn things around for you and make you old and do good for you and, and, and bless you. And then Jesus said, who touched me? And when she came, he said, immediately she became well. Immediately, the 12 years of prolonged trouble, it don't matter how long that trouble you're facing also has been, but immediately, in an instant, God can heal you. In an instant, God can turn it around. In an instant, God can do amazing things for you. Don't give up hope. That's what Psalm 27 say. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I'm not going to lose off hope. Finding hope in a seemingly helpless and hopeless situation. And, and the, she came. She came to the master and said, I am the one. And, and Jesus told her, I said, peace, 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 peace to you. Your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. 
Go in peace. As you go in 2023, go in peace. As you go through your business, go in peace. As you go through all that, whatever you're going through, I declare the word of the Lord and I agree by faith for you that the peace of God will go with you. The blessings of God will go with you. A turnaround is coming. Every hopeless situation is coming to an end and there is a healing coming for you. There is a deliverance coming for you. There is help coming for you. There is miracle coming for you. There is a new beginning coming for you. There is new things that God is going to do for you in the name of Jesus has said, go in peace now. No more issues of law. No more embarrassment. No more limitation. No more shame. No more shackles. No more pain. But a help of God is coming for you. Uh, blessings of God is coming for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the grace of God and glory of God will remove every dis- disgrace over your life and bring you uh, the fullness of a, a fulfillment of the prophecies. As you believe it, there shall be performance as you believe him there shall be uh, the goodness of god coming to the you will see the goodness of god in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise and glory thank you and thank you lord for everything that you have done in the year 2022 and uh, help in hades past and i hope for years to come thank you for 2023 we give you all the praise and glory in jesus mighty name amen amen and amen happy new year to everybody and i uh, want to invite you to try and kingdom university online programs you can access it from anywhere uh, and and we will be pleased to help you in this new year to learn more about the lord and for, prepare you for ministry and enhanced advancement in the name of jesus as um, we look forward to receiving from you at the announce account port with more information i'm dr abraham peters i'll see you again next time god bless you Shalom. At Triumphs Kingdom University, you will find a place where the Word of God and the Holy Spirit come together to transform lives, birth ministries, and equip individuals to fulfill their God-given call in the spirit of excellence and triumphing in every aspect of life. Triumphs Kingdom University is an interdenominational international university. Triumphs Kingdom University offers several programs designed to train men and women, young and old, to carry out God's will on earth. Triumphs Kingdom University offers courses 100% online and in satellite centers. At Triumphs Kingdom University, you can earn certificates, diplomas, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in theology, Christian ministry, divinity, Christian counseling, chaplaincy, Christian life coaching, biblical studies, Christian leadership, global missions, Christian media communications, ministerial ordination, and license. Also, leadership conference and awards of honorary doctoral degrees. Admissions are now open, so enroll today. For more information, contact 864-518-6191, 864-205-5093, or 864-805-0259. You can also visit www.triumphskingdomuniversity.com. Be sure to tune in to 1180 WFGN on Wednesdays from 1 p.m. to 1.15 p.m. for a spirit-filled message from Triumph's Kingdom University President, Dr. Abraham Peters. Triumph's Kingdom University is a proud supporter of 1180 WFGN.